Hey, fifth grade mathers, welcome to page 222. Look at page 222. On your homework sheet, it says 221 and 222. The thing is, guys, is that 221, there's nothing there. Okay, there's nothing there. And that isn't really how we're talking about this subject anyway. Today, we're going to be dividing fractions. So welcome to back, back to fractions um, for a couple of minutes, a couple of days. And you're like, no, why, Miss Jessica? But... Dividing fractions is fun, okay? But here, you need to learn this phrase or you're never gonna like dividing fractions. Say this with me, repeat after me, flip, flop, and multiply. Say it again. Flip, flop, and multiply. What is flip, flop? Flip, flop means when you do this. You take whatever's on the top and put it on the bottom, whatever's on the bottom, put it on the top. Boop, like this, okay? If you remember that, you will love dividing fractions. If you don't remember that, you will hate dividing fractions, okay? So look at the um, number two letter A. We're skipping number one, so you can put a, a line through it. Six divided by one third, okay? Well, first of all, just like any kind of fraction, we can't multiply or divide when this six is there. The very first thing we need to do is put what on the denominator, Mario? The one, okay? Then what you're going to do with this one is flip flop and multiply. So the way that you divide fractions is you take this and flip flop it and multiply. Flip flop and multiply. Okay, look at me, look at me, look at me. Are you listening to that? Now we finish. Six times three is what, Abia? 18. One times one is one. So now our answer is? 18. Okay, when we flip flop and multiply, say it again. So you remember always flip flop and multiply. You got to be saying that like in your sleep, we got to be saying that. So look at letter B. By the way, when it says like divide, look at the instructions divide using the common denominator method, divide using the inversion method. We don't care about that. One way flip flop and multiply. Okay, here we go. Letter B. Five divided by one fourth. Well, first thing we need to do is what, Danielito? Put the one under the five, good. And then, Dueno, say the phrase. Flip, flop, and multiply. So we're gonna flip, flop this. The four goes on the top, the one goes on the bottom. And we multiply. So my answer is what, Oscar? 20 over one, 20 divided by one is 20. There you go. Wahoo. Okay, try letter C by yourself. Try letter C by yourself. Okay, Andres, you ready to help me out, bud? What do you do with the eight? Put the one on the bottom, cool. Then what do you do, Ethan? Say the phrase. Flip, flop, and multiply. Good job. So what is your answer, Frankie? 16. Wahoo. Okay, there you go. Try letter, hmm. Well, really, guys, I mean, like, you really know how to do it. I'll give you one more. Try letter D by yourself. Try letter D by yourself. Okay, Oscar, you want to help me out? What do you do with the nine? Put a one underneath. Good. What do you do with the one third here, Danielito? Flip, flop, and multiply. Very cool. So what's your answer, Mario? 27. There you go, guys. That's it. Tan intelligentes, you guys. You guys are super intelligent geniuses. You got to do the rest of it, too. Don't forget number four. Number three is exactly like number two. There's nothing new there. You guys got this. Okay, if you have any questions, just let me know. Bye.